Okay, so if you're, sorry, if you're watching this video, forgot to start recording. We covered the psoas major. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Okay, the iliacus. And now we're looking at picture 14. This is the multifidus going all the way up. Okay, and now the next one. I want you to see if you can find this yourself. Okay, if you're looking at this, at this picture, and I say that the next muscle is quadratus lumborum. Okay. When I say quad, something should pop into your head. Yeah, okay, so a lot of people say that, like the quad is, is your, your thigh. Why do they call your thigh the quad? There's four muscles right there, right? Okay, so this would be a muscle that's four-sided. Now the second word is lumborum. What should pop into your mind when we say lumborum? Lumbar. So yeah, that lumbar, right? So here is the quadratus lumborum four sides one two three four and these dots right here this one this one this one this one this those are the five spinous processes of the lumbar vertebra okay and this will also help extend uh the back okay quadratus lumborum okay the quad like all colleges have a quad like manchester university has a quad right that grassy spot like in between the chapel and courtier and the science building and the admissions building. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, Purdue has a quad. In the movie Old School, Will Ferrell wants to go streaking in the squad, or I mean in the quad, or the squad, his squad wants to go. Nobody, not one person in any of my classes have seen that movie. You have? You did? Old School? You're the only person today that has seen this movie. I can't believe it. No, well, I guess Trescott, he doesn't count because he's, he's just hanging. I couldn't believe it. It's a classic. It is rated higher than what many of you should probably. Anyway, you guys do know who Will Ferrell is though, right? Yeah. yeah. I told Greta this in between classes. I said, hey, uh, nobody in my last period class had seen old school. She goes, you know what this means? I go, no, what, Greta? She goes, you're old. That hurt me here, right here, right? Tears. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. Now, who's my who's my singers in here? Who's my choral people? Choral people in here, okay, right? All right, so we're moving on to the next picture. It should look like this. Okay, I wanna go first with this muscle. Okay, the first one is all these tiny little guys right here. Now, thank goodness they increased uh, a, a nice little picture of these. You're like, what in the world would all these little tiny muscles right like here grumpy. along? It looks like what? Grumpy. They look, what's grumpy? Ground beef. Oh, ground beef. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, okay, I can see that. All right, look, check this out. These are super cool. If you're looking at the rotators, it should be obvious that the rotators are named for their function, right? What do they help you do? They're going to help you rotate your back, right? And rotate that spine. Now, of course, they're not the only ones that are doing that, but it's also gonna help stabilize things, right? Look at the intertwining network, okay? So here's the spinous process, but check this out. This muscle is going from, now do you remember what, here's the spinous process, here's the uh, transverse process, what do we call this part right here? Do you remember? Isn't that the pedicle? Okay. Is it the pedicle? The lamina, right? Close. Oh, yeah, it's the yeah, lamina. Here's the lamina. The pedicle is in between the transverse process and the uh, and the bottom. Okay. So, but look, we're going down from the lamina, and we're going down. Look, we're skipping past one of the spines and and uh, going down into the transverse process. But we also have another little one that's going. So we have these two unbelievably tiny muscles, okay, going from the lamina to those transverse processes. I think the rotators, I don't know what they are about that, but I think they're stinking cool, okay? Uh, uh, of course, the, the vertebral column uh, uh, rotating that is the, um, is the purpose of that. Now, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one because this is the one that every single, well, let me not do this. What's the, if you're in choir, if you've ever sung in choir, if you've ever had a choral teacher, if they've not talked about this muscle, 
then either you've been concussed or you weren't paying attention because you've all heard of it, okay? Because they tell you to sing from this area. Yeah, your diaphragm, right? Okay, everybody's heard, choir people, right? Mrs. Lehman has talked about the diaphragm at some point, okay? I know she has because she's a smart woman, okay? We will not, we cannot, if you didn't, if you're, if you're, if your diaphragm, you didn't have this, you'd be dead, okay? Because the diaphragm helps you breathe. All of you right now are flexing your diaphragm, even though you may not realize it, okay? When that diaphragm contracts, okay, and relaxes, you're increasing the volume of your lungs and air naturally moves in and then air naturally moves out. Now I've seen, now every time I talk about diaphragm, it's so funny because I always see people like, like breathing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just caught you doing it there, but it's, you're not alone, it happens, okay? Right, and so thank God we don't have to think about breathing, okay? Because some of you would be dead because you can't remember like, you know, where your keys and phone are, right? You know, like, oh crap, I forgot to breathe too, right? So right now that muscle is flexing. Now someone asked me, I don't know why this drippy part freaks me out, right? Okay, it's it's weird. I don't know how that that part came to be, uh, but but there it is. If you get the hiccups, you've got a nice little spasm of your diaphragm. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, and so uh, that's why it's a really good idea to punch yourself. And no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, in the diaphragm, have you ever gotten the the wind knocked out of you? Yes. Okay, right. That's your diaphragm. I think this, time. this is, I I yes, this is a, I think I a right, my back still. yes, yes, this has got to be a rite of passage of every kid, right? The first, I don't think, is there anybody in here who can't remember the first time the wind got knocked out of them? Like, I, I mean, vividly. I kind of remember. Vividly. Oh, yeah, 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 because you don't know what, what's happening. Yeah, it usually happen like for me, I was six years old, I was on the monkey bars, Okay, at like my elementary school, I was climbing, I fell, laying on my back, and I was like, this is it, I'm dead, right, you know, like, and then you start breathing, and then it's all good, right? I, I, my yeah. first time getting the wind knocked out of me coincided with me breaking my right arm. You broke your arm when you got your wind broke out of you? <laughs> I was roller skating, and uh, fifth grade, I fell back, smacked my back, broke my arm. It was a whole ordeal. That's awesome. Which which arm did you break? My right one. It still okay. hurts when it rains. All right. So real quick, hey, stick with stick with me for a couple minutes and then we'll quit. Okay. Now everybody's like, there's one of the brilliant stories about the wind. All right. Stick with me a couple more minutes and we can tell these stories. Okay, so these are the rotators. This is the diaphragm. Okay, now the other one on this picture is the intertransversaria. Okay, so you're like, oh, what a dumb name, right? You should be able to find exactly where this muscle is. Intertransversaria. Where do you think the intertransversaria would be? Well, like we're bottom here on the spine. Yeah, look, this is the transverse process, right? Intertransversaria. That's these guys right here. There's, I love the name. Okay, not like a muscle that you'd be like, man, I really. I'm gonna work out my inner transversarii, but look at this cool muscle. Okay, I shorten it. You could also call it the inner transversarii lumborum lateralis. Let's just stick with inner transversarii. Okay, there's the spinous process on so the posterior view, the anterior view, literally muscles in between the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebra. Okay, its action also helps the lateral flexion of the neck and the spine, okay? So we can go up and find them in the neck too. That's why, whoa, that's why I'm not focused on uh, all of that. Now, okay, just let me like one more minute here. I wanna show you something. We're gonna go next to the pelvis, 
okay? And I'm gonna show you, oh, no, we're not gonna go over all of them right now because they're kind of crazy at first, but I want you to realize something, okay? So this is a view, like a transverse cut. You know, I put the guy on the railroad track, oh, Ooh, sorry, right? Okay, and now I'm looking down, okay? So if I was standing here and I removed my torso, I would look, be looking straight down, okay? Right, y'all with me on this? What do you think, what do you think this hole leads to? The poop shoot, okay? What do you think this hole leads to? The pea shoot, right, okay? Right, we'll talk about those, but here's what I need you to realize. Everybody look at Chad for a quick second. Okay, and I'll get out the, I'll get out my- We cannot uh, see Chad. You know, I'll move it, I'll move it so you can see Chad. Okay, so when we look at Chad, okay, when we look at Chad, when we look at his crotch, okay, okay, there's this giant open area, right? But in real life, when we look at that, there is a cup of muscles. So when we talk about these muscles, I want you to picture like the muscles like cupping inside of this. They don't go straight across. Think of it as a, as a cup or a hammock of muscles. Are you all with me on this? Can you all picture inside, inside? So like, here's the iliac crest, right? There's the iliacus, okay? When we're looking at just this, the cup is here, okay? So here's the, there's the, the ala, there's the body of the sacrum. Okay, y'all with me on this? Yeah. Everybody with me now? Okay, that, so that's, there's the coccyx. Okay, so it's cupping inside. Here's the pubis, right? So it's actually going from this part and swinging up, okay? Can you all at least picture that? Mm -hmm. And I, uh, yeah, I wish I had a model to really show you those, those muscles, okay? It'd be helpful, can you like move it so it's like, this way. I don't think I can. Let's go. I wish I could like pause it. Hold on a second. Let's Screen see. record. I wish it would like let me like pause. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a video of like what it looks like, um, like in a in a model. Okay, great. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I appreciate it. Can I go to the